In this video, watch as real roofers tear off and install a complete composition roof, starting now. Hey, what's up? I'm Matt, and I've helped tens of thousands of people build a rewarding career as independent property insurance adjusters. So let's go ahead and get started with this. How It's Built shows you exactly how construction components, like roofing and siding, are torn off and installed so that you can better negotiate with contractors, speak more intelligently with insureds, and write better estimates on claims that stay closed. Remember, you don't get paid until the claim is closed. Today on How It's Built, Composition Roofing with Ice and Water Shield. The insured will sign a contract with the contracting company, and the insured will typically, but not always, pay the contractor a deposit before the work starts. The contractor will then schedule the work and assign a production manager, who will then order the materials and line up the crew of installers who will complete the repairs. Before work begins, materials are delivered to the job site in a trailer. On this job, a dumpster is set in the driveway for waste. Tarps are laid out around the perimeter of the house to catch any nails or other debris. Installers begin by stripping the shingles off of the roof. They use pitchforks to remove the shingles. Roof ventilation vents, known as turtle vents, are removed. Large vents and flashing like this furnace vent are not removed. Then the drip edge is removed. On this claim, the gutters will be replaced by another contractor. Installers remove and discard the gutters. Waste is thrown into the on-site dumpster. Next, the underlayment, also known as felt paper, is removed, also using pitchforks. This roof has two layers of felt underlayment installed. Then, an installer will hammer in proud nails while another installer blows off the roof. Note that the chimney flashing is intact. Once the bare plywood is cleaned, installation of the underlayment and shingles can begin. Sometimes rotten decking is discovered and must be replaced. Because rot is excluded under property insurance policies, most carriers will not cover rotten decking. For ease of installation, the installer removes the entire damaged sheet. Once the sheet of plywood is removed, you can see inside the attic. Note the 1x4 boards here. This is called spaced sheathing or spaced decking. This is what wood shakes and wood shingles are nailed to. You'll see this here because in the past this roof had wood shake or wood shingle roofing on it. Because composition shingles require a smooth, flat surface for nailing, plywood was installed over the spaced sheathing. This is the common and proper installation when replacing wood with composition shingles. The installer measures and cuts a hole for the bathroom sewer vent pipe. Then he fits and nails the new board in place. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV at checkout to get a huge discount on the best adjuster certifications, damage field guides, and adjuster tools at HagueEducation.com. Installers install ice and water shield to protect this area from water leaks. However, because this house is in Oklahoma, ice damming is not common. Therefore, ice and water shield will not be installed along the eaves, valleys, or rakes of this roof. An installer rolls out the synthetic underlayment. Most new roofs installed today use synthetic underlayment. They attach the underlayment to the roof using a stapler, also called a hammer tacker. Thank you. 
Next, installers cut and nail strips of metal called drip edge along the rakes and eaves. Drip edge is a type of flashing used to keep water from damaging the wood sheathing and fascia under the shingles. Installers load the shingles on the roof. The shingles come in bundles. The bundles are designed to be carried by one person. Using a nail gun run by a gas-powered air compressor, an installer first nails in a special row of shingles called a starter strip. Starter strip aids the roof's water shedding function by covering shingle joints at the eaves and rakes. Then, starting at the bottom of the slope, the installer nails the shingles in overlapping rows. When they reach the rake edge, they trim the shingles. Here, he installs a sewer vent pipe boot, or pipe jack. The shingles are cut to fit the boot. This is how a turtle vent is installed. The installer lines up the vent with the ventilation hole in the roof. Then he nails the vent to the sheathing. An optional step is to use cut pieces of ice and water shield to waterproof the vent. The heat from the sun will cause the ice and water shield to adhere to the roof and seal the nail holes. At the peak, the shingles are trimmed to fit. Finally, the ridge cap is nailed in place. Once the roof is installed, the workers clean up the site and haul away any debris. This roof is done. The contractor will present their customer, our insured, with an invoice requesting the final balance due. All right, you've watched the roof being replaced. Click here to learn how to write it up in Xactimate. It's one of those. I mean, I just...